Right, we're in Morecambe, and we've just called into Atkinson's Fish and Chips, and it's one of the highest rated chippies in Morecambe, and the surrounding area, from what I've gathered. And it's quiet today, it's actually quite beautiful. Um, the estuary here, or the bay, is quite calm. Yes, Plenty of sandy beach. Right, so let's have a little look at what we've got. loaded salt and pepper fries and there's chicken going on in here so i'm just going to get a fork there's bacon the chips look nice mm -hmm. lots of crunchy bits i'm going to have these chips there's barbecue sauce there's cheese yeah i like that and it was nice going into the, the chippy. The street had a nice feel to it. The staff were pleasant. The place was clean. And it had like a, a real chippy feel. A real um, old chippy feel. A nice chippy feel. And next to that, there's, they had the cafe. Where you could actually go in. Or the restaurant, restaurant side of the chippy. You could go in there and have a nice meal. We've got our scraps. If ever there's a chippy with scraps. And they're normally big fish scraps. That's off the, uh, or anything that they've actually deep fried. Mm -hmm. Mushy peas and their curry. The curry looks nice and gelatinous. Let me have a little. Yeah, that is thick. Mmm. And a real tasty, chippy curry sauce. I don't know what they're putting to make that thick the way it is. Maybe some corn flour or cornstarch or something. But it's nice, really nice. And what about the peas? Now they are thick. Just the way I like them. Oh yeah. So now we'll have a little look at the fish. We've got fish and chips, we've got haddock. Now on the wall in the chip, you know, they've got just where it was caught, and it was just off Norway. It's got the name of the ship, or the trawler if you like. It's got where the potatoes are from, and they're from Cheshire today. Look at that. That's delicious. You can taste the freshness in it, and it's nice. Thick fillet. And if we just turn that over no skin on this one it's normally skin on the had that i get and i can skin on or skin off for me really doesn't make a lot of difference though sometimes the skin can actually flavor the meat and re release the fats and the juices into the fillet itself now what about these chips they're looking great dip it in the curry mm-hmm Mm. When it comes to curry sauce, there's nothing like having a few scraps, get it all in there, get them all nice and crunchy. Right, okay, that was actually delicious. It was a really nice meal. Everywhere seems so quiet today. I know there's a few people here in the car park, but not a lot. And when I look over there today, the town itself it's really quiet i'm sure in the middle of the season it gets wild really wild i mean you probably can't move for people and this is of course the home of tyson fury it would have been nice to have seen tyson out here today walking along this prom coming down here and, and having some uh, fish and chips with us how good would that have been no i really enjoyed it so i'll see you back at the computer when i look at a Bad review, somewhere in the middle, a five star review, and then I'll leave mine. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. So as you can see by that, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. My wife really enjoyed it. It was uh, everything about it. And I think because Morecambe was so quiet that day, 
I couldn't get out of this. I didn't want to get out of it. I couldn't get out of this relaxed mode. I felt chilled. I might have even been talking that way. Not stoned, but chilled. You know, and yeah, you know, it was it was just it was just lovely. It was a great start to our week in Cumbria, which was incredible as well. And you know, believe me, the the people in uh, in Cumbria can cook fish and chips. That's for sure. And you'll see these videos as we go along. So yeah, let's have a look at the reviews. One star. Purchase two fish, large chips, peas, curry and tartar sauce. Price £21.30. Chips barely warm, hard thick batter on the fish. Horrible. As for the curry and peas, tiny containers, not even full, very disappointing. Three star. Fish and chips at Atkinson's are usually very good. However, yesterday tea time, I bought too many fish and chips to take away. It wasn't overly busy, the fish was freshly cooked, and as always really good, but the chips had obviously been sat a while and were lukewarm. This is easily solved. Five star. We recently ate at Atkinson's on the way back from the north and it exceeded our expectations. Everything we had was delicious and the service was quick. The haddock was cooked perfectly with a crispy batter. The chips were fresh and cooked just right and the potato scallop was seasoned perfectly. The battered sausage was a nice surprise and the mushy peas were a nice addition. The gravy tied everything together nicely. Overall, I would highly recommend Atkinson's for a satisfying and quick meal by the seaside. Mine, five star. On my way to a few days of reviewing chippies in Cumbria, I thought it might be a good idea to call at the popular holiday destination of Morecambe Bay and look for a great chippy. I actually located a fantastic chippy Walking down the quiet street, which was unusual for May, I felt relaxed. Entering the chippy, I felt even more relaxed, and I stayed relaxed for the rest of the day. The chippy was clean and tidy, with a real traditional chippy feel. There was a restaurant side to the chippy too, complete with happy people enjoying their meals. The service was great, but the food was something else. The loaded chips were delicious, with crispy chicken, bacon, and all sorts of goodies on top of delicious chips. The haddock was fresh and thick, with a light crispy batter that won't slow you down on the prom. The chips were chunky and fresh and farmed in Cheshire, and regions are mentioned when and where potatoes are farmed and in stock, while the haddock was caught from sustainable stock off Norway. The trawler name was even given. Cooking in, vegetable oil, hygiene rating 5, cash or card, fish reviewed, haddock. Fabulous chippy, fabulous. And sometimes when I look at these seaside chippies with lots of ratings and reviews and things like that, I think, yeah, they're going to get them because they've got the foot traffic and it might not be that good. It was good. See you on the next one. This is a brand new channel for 2024. So if you like this video, subscribe, share it, like it, hit the notification bell. And if you have any recommendations in your area, put them in the comments. Thank you.